Okay, so here is the problem that we will be solving together in this video. So we have um, a hot air balloon is sighted at the same time by two friends who are one mile apart on the same side of the balloon. The angles of elevation from the two friends are 20.5 degrees and 25.5 degrees. How high is the balloon? So, um, we need to identify the height of the balloon from the ground on sa katasun ang lupad sa balloon na to. Okay, so we can make an illustration like, di mo ta di na lang nato rin yung hot air balloon, labi na nga, di ko kayo mo drawing. So, let's just say this is our hot air balloon or basically just the balloon. Importante, sakto lang pagka-plot ang ato ang mga details and ang sagi pangita o ang sa mga given. Okay? So, sample muna itong balloon and then muna itong ground. Muna itong ground, for example. Okay, sorry. Okay. Say, muna itong ground and then we have two friends. So, wala may gisulti, wala may gisulti nga height sa ato ang friends. So, we'll just assume that the line of sight of our friend is at ground level. Ana na lang. Mara na lang silang naghapa. But wala man yatag. So, basically, that's what we will assume. That uh, ground level lang ato ang point of view or the line of sight of our kanang observer. Okay, so muna siya tong two friends. They are on the same side of the balloon. So, puro sila, for example, nasa right side or puro sila nasa left side. Wala sila nag-atbang. And then given as well, ang distance between these two. So between these two kuno, kay one mile. Okay? So the friends are one mile apart on the same side of the balloon. So this is our balloon. So muna siya yang kitas on from the ground and we need to identify that one. Okay? Say this is, this is the height of the balloon. So, unsa sa kataas, ang lupad sa balloon na to. Ano niya, when ang angles of elevation, okay, um, so we have the two friends here. So, natay angle of elevation. There you go. So, ang angles of elevation sa so two friends are 20.5 degrees and 25.5. So, angles of elevation, this is the angle made above the kanang horizontal line of sight. Diba? So, um, sa ato ang, uh, well, common sense or base mismo sa ato ang illustration. Between these two, diba? These are our angles of elevation. Excuse me. So, kanisha sa so, angle of elevation sa so, usang so, so, friend or sa so, 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 observer and kaning usam so, oi sa other observer so between these two of course they man equal 20.5 mas gamay and 25.5 um, we should know that matarong sa nato dapat ug plot asa ang 20.5 ug 25.5 so obvious man sa tong illustration that this is smaller but common sense said if we observe it um Kani dyan siya, dere ang atong mas smaller of angle of elevation. Mas hangad biya ta dere kung adita mas mag-observe tag mas dool sa object. So, murag mas hangad. So, mas dako ang ato ang angle of elevation. Okay? But na-illustrate man sa na nato, obviously sa ato ang drawing. Nga this one, the red one nga friend or observer has a or kanang signifies a smaller value of Angle of elevation. So basically, this will become our, or dinhi nato ibutang si 20.5 degrees nato nga angle. And then the other one, kanin sa pikas pud nga observer, mo ni siya ato ang 25.5 degrees. Okay? Because mausab, it would go on man, murag ma, ma, affected mga atong solution ana if, Mabaylo na to ubutang. Dili na to ma-apply ma, ma ang basic nga murag ko an relationship or proportion yun nilang doha. Okay? Um, so much for that. So let's let's proceed. Again, we are looking for this one, the height of the balloon. So from the illustration, we can generate or we can at least observe nga nakadrawing taog triangles. Again, triangles. It's more than one. Triangle. So, basically, we need to apply the concepts of trigonometry, basic trigonometry, to solve this problem. So, if we need, uh, if we need, if you observe this one, okay, akong ikuan ha, taruhuntan eh. Taruhuntan eh. Oh, jud, 
Pero kung dapat, yun ang mga mixed signals chart. Okay, so focus on this blue blue lines. Kaning mga blue lines. Diba na kayo mo tag-triangle, Ana? Wherein, kaninga side um, denotes our height. So if you know the length of this side, meaning mo na siya itong gipangita, mo na siya itong answer sa problem. And then, sa kanang triangle, kanang blue triangle, natay usa ka angle. Diba based on um, right triangle ratios, pwede rin nato mas ma, makas, pwede ta makasolve sa other kanang other parts of the triangle if you have at least one side, I mean one side and one angle, diba? Like katong sine theta, so katoa, opposite over hypotenuse, so on and so forth. Okay? So, Again, this this blue triangle, we can see, we can see and we can say, we can see and say that this is a right triangle because basically we are assuming that this kani is a vertical height manjo na sa ato ang balloon and then our ground is horizontal manjo so perpendicular yun sila ninety degrees yun idere. Monang naka naka kwanta naka sultitang this is a right triangle and we can use so katoa to solve for H. Naman tay angle o sang 25.5. Diba? Like for example, um, if we know one of the side, like for example, we need to use sine. Given this one, kaninga point of use angle. Diba? Sine theta. So from, the, from the mnemonic nga so katoa, so so, O over H, that's opposite over hypotenuse. Okay? So, opposite of course, muni siya represent sa H. So, using sine, using this angle, pwede na ito masolve si opposite if not ay hypotenuse. As a mga hypotenuse na ito, ano triangle, kaning blue? This. Because this is the side ng atbang sa ito ang 90 degrees angle. So, for example, sa hypotenuse, pangalan na itong X, if we only knew the value of X here, we can solve for H. The opposite of 25.5, the height of the balloon, which is mo ipangita dyan sa ang problem. So this problem is not a one-step nga pag-answer. So, so si X, could there be a way that we could solve for X? Most likely. Because if we focus here, we have another triangle. Maka-observe tag another triangle dere. Kani, then kani nga side. Because they, they share the same side. Excuse me? Kani. If you focus on this triangle as well, makita na to nga, this side, this one, is common sa blue and sa red nga triangle. So, kani nga side sa red nga triangle is equal ra sa hypotenuse anin blue nga triangle. And then, one thing is good about this red triangle because we are given with an angle and then a measurement of the side. Diba? This is one mile. Between the between aning dua ka friends, one mile may gihatag. So natay one unit dera, length of the side, one mile. And then natay osa ka angle. And then maybe we can solve, maybe there's a way to solve the length of this side. And then when we know the length of this side, we can use that because equal raman sa hypotenuse. We will use that value, mo yato ibutang sa ato ang hypotenuse here to solve finally for our opposite side, which is the H. Okay, so baya lang. So munang, first let's focus on the red triangle. We have this angle and we have this, kanang unsaman, we have this measurement of the side. So this is not a right triangle. Sa naong palang daan, wala tay right angle nga nakita. And then the safest thing, if wala pa man tayo na-prove yun nga 90 degree angle, then we would never assume, let's not assume, ah, let's not assume nga, right triangle, right ang mga butang-butang, charis. Bitaw, so muna siyang, it would be safe nga arita magbasi sa ito ang sine law o sa cosine law. Not atong sukato and katong pang right triangle rin ang mga functions or ratios. So let's use, let's refer to sine law or cosine law. And again, between sine law and cosine law, um, Simpler man ang sine law. So if natay mga, if, if atong given, pwede na enough na para magamit ng sine law, then let's, uh, sine law would be preferable. Okay? Okay, for this, di ba sine law at bang at bang manta? So if we need to find x, if we need to find x, 
di ba we can find ang ratio na to ani is side over sine sa iyahang at bang angle which is at bang ni x is si 20.5 equals at least na atay usa ka kompleto ng at bang like for example ang given na to dira is si 1 mile man tara ang ang side na to ang line sa side na to nasa babaw so ari ta mag 1 and then sine sa angle opposite ni 1 mile tara ang angle opposite ni 1 mile tang tanag theta na dira wala pa tay value ni theta pero we can find theta by how observe this one kaning a part dere sila and let's change color the color kani 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 diba this is a straight angle This is equal to 180. Then, kaninga part is already 25.5 degrees. So, meaning we can find this part by subtracting 25.5 from 180. 180 maning... Ah, patay. Nga naman to. Okay. There you go. Na. So, 180. Nawag tang nasad. Sorry. Basta ka na. Hold on. So, one half. Kaya yung murag. Ayan. Okay, there you go. I'm sorry for that. Kanang manuisance. Okay. So, 180 man yun siya. Diba? Straight line man na. And then, na naman tadi rin 25.5 daan. So, kaninga part, which happens to be one of the interior angle of this red triangle, We can solve for that angle by subtracting 25.5 from Akong kalkyo di mo on? Hmm, it should ha? Okay From 180 So 180 minus 25.5 That's 154.5 So kanidi ay Usa sa interior angle diri is 154.5 Asam ta pa doon ani Nanam tayo doon ka angle Again, we'll not use 154.5 here because kani nga angle, dapat kani man nga side iyang at bang wherein ang 1 mile na to is kani man so dapat kani nga angle atong gamiton. We can find that because kaibaw naman ta sa duha ka angle. And then according to angle sum theorem, the interior angles of the triangle sum up to 180 degrees. So dapat, I mean we can solve for theta here by 180 minus 20.5 minus, this is one angle, this is the other angle, minus 154.5. Muna siya si theta. Pila man na. 180 minus 20, excuse me, 0.5 minus 154.5. So that's 5 degrees. So therefore, kaning gamay ng angle sa babaw is only 5 degrees. That's the angle nga at bang sa 1 mile, so muna itong isumpay diri. See? 5. Sign 5. Okay? Makasolve na tana si, masolve na tana si X. So using calculator, cross multiply, multiply tana dira, that's 1. So basically that's sign 20. Sign, ito nalaya na para maklaro, 20.5 over sign 5. Pila si X. Pila si X. Okay? Sine 20.5 over sine 5. That's 4.02, approximately. 4.02. That's x. That's not yet our final answer. We have just solved this part of the triangle, which we will use to solve for h. Okay, balik taan ni. Na naman tay x. Di ba? Because... Sine theta is equal to opposite, wherein our theta, if our theta here is kani, the 25.5, excuse me, I'm going to change the color, di ba? Sine 25.5 is equal to opposite ni 25.5, which is H. And that's what we are looking for. Over the hypotenuse of this blue triangle, I'm going to change the color, na kuan man, na-erase man ganina. Of that blue triangle, our hypotenuse here is the x, where inakuha na nato siya to be 4.02. So,
So, cross multiply na tanadira. H is equal to 4.02 times sine 25.5. Our answer here is, mula dyan na itong height nga makuha, that's 4.02. 4.02 times sine 25.5. We'll get 1.73. Approximately. Unit is mile. 1.73 mile ay ang gitas on sa ito ang balloon. So, bayra? Okay, you can rewatch this video if you need kanang more clarification if aspas ra or on ba so as well as if there are any comments on sa mind kanang suggestions na taisipiat along the way don't hesitate to let me know um you can post your comments sa comment box sa comment section and then if you have suggestions just do kanang comment as well sa may lain ano siya Okay? Also, don't forget to like this video if this helped you solve uh, mas makasab nakasabot mo sa inani nga problem or whatever. Please do like this video. Um, share if you have friends or classmates who, would, who you would want to share this to or you think nga they want to watch they want to watch this video as well and please don't forget to hit subscribe para you'll be informed if na atay ipang upload nga new videos about mathematics engineering and whatever okay so basically that's it i hope this video helped you and thank you bye bye